My name is Georges Javis. I'm a fashion designer. I design both ladies' and men's clothing. I'm originally from the Caribbean, but I've been in the U.S. since I was a little boy, so I'm American now. <laughs> My idea is to give, uh, give something different and interesting, but at the same time keep in with uh, trends on some level. I'm very much interested in creativity and um, because that, that's what helps the mind to expand when you, when you can be creative and let that creative energy just flow. Uh, at the same time, um, we want to have a little, some pieces that folks are interested in also purchasing. So the, the collection is not just for creativity's sake, but interesting pieces that's different but not too over the top where you can't wear it. You know? Is this your first fashion show for this year? Or? This is the second one for this year. Um, this is my... I've done fashion a couple years ago but had stopped doing it for a while. And last year I heard a voice. God said you need to get back with it. So we jumped back into it on February. He told me get do it uh, late last year, and I'm like, but you're talking about February. And I said, okay, we're going to do that. So it's, it's been going to different levels. I'm glad that I, I listened, because now we're here doing this in a, in a beautiful space and beautiful models. We've kicked it. My coordinator, he kicked it to a whole different level. Hi, I'm Tim Harris, and I am the casting director and creative director with Georges Java's production, Crimson Skies. So tell me, uh, what do you think of today's show? I was very pleased with it. I was especially pleased with the casting and the clothes. I thought the casting was great because of the fact that it was multicultural. It was as colorful as the clothes, and that was really my inspiration for the casting. I thought the designs were amazing. I love Georges' cutting edge. Georges reminds me of the old school designers like Halston, you know, where everything has a classic kind of, he has a classic approach, but it has a little bit of edge. So it can get kind of trendy and funky. And then of course with Tracy, who's from Imani Jewelry, with her pieces being so edgy, it kind of gave it something very new and different as opposed to just classic and boring. It put that little bit of spice to it. So I was very happy and very proud of both of these guys. I thought their collections separately were amazing by themselves, but when, when you marry them together, they just became an, a hurricane. The significance of it is that artists get to show their art. You know, so you get different kinds of expressions, you know, because each artist is different. I don't see them as designers, I see them as artists. So the designers get to show their art, the makeup artists get to show their art, the models get to show their art as well as the hairstylists, you know. So it's, it's significant in the sense that it's a freedom of expression. It's a week of just total freedom of expression.
I am a very stylish girl. stylish girl. based on our Wise Women Collection, Spring, Summer 2014. Um, it was inspired by women in our family. We come from a long line of craftspeople and creative women. And so each collection was named after a woman. We have the Coralie Collection, Catherine, named after my aunt, my grandmother. Worked with a lot of colorful leather and, and um, semi-precious stones. 
We use a lot of quartz this year, rock quartz and titanium quartz. Tell me the name of your company again one more time, clearly, and how long you've been in operation. And just the various things you've been doing. Okay. Like Imani Jewelry. My mom and I are the chief designers. We've been in business 30 years. We've had two stores. We had one in Harlem and we had one in the village. And uh, we've done a series of festivals. We've traveled the country. We've traveled outside of the state showing the collection. Now we craft at home and we do mostly um, trunk shows in the stores where we sell the jewelry. And we do, we do fashion shows from time to time. Tell me how your pieces uh, <laughs> work well with Jarvis's. I like Jarvis's collection because it was colorful. And you notice um, jewelry, a lot of times you find the silver and the gold, but not a lot of color. Our collection offers you the lime greens, the citrus oranges, and the, and the yellows. So Jarvis's collection picked up on the colors really well. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Gardell Espinal. I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I am with Identities NYC. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Spotwell. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I'm with Identities NYC also. I thought the show was amazing. Jar just really had some really amazing pieces for the men and the women. I can't wait to see what he comes out with next season. I love the show. I thought the gowns were so beautiful. The colors, the intricate designs, the gowns, they were gorgeous. And I would definitely rock them anywhere, any event. So. I'm Dylan Adonis. I'm from South Africa, and I'm with Edge Fashion Group. Um, I love Jarvis's collection. It was awesome. Um, the fabrics are very comfortable. I, it's, I can see myself wearing it. I love the prints. I love the colors. It was just and overall a very good collection. My name is Lawrence Nunziata. What did you think of the show today? It was amazing, it was great. I love uh, Jervis, he's great. What did you think of some of the clothes? Oh, they were interesting. Definitely had, I love the prints. Like it was a lot of great uh, funky prints, a lot of interesting cuts. Um, it was pretty good, I like it, it's cool. I'm, a, I'm the Will McCoy designer. <laughs> I don't copy, I let the creative energy of God flow through me and he supplies it all. If I'm thinking gowns, evening gowns, he'll be showing me evening gowns for a whole week till I say, okay, that's enough. If I'm thinking cocktails, dresses, he'll show me that. And if I'm thinking men's clothing, he'll show me interesting clothing for men. You know, um, I feel that I've connected somehow to the creative realm in a powerful way. My name is Georges Jarvis. 